Hi, my name is Lily and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Illumicrate Afterlight box. So this is going to be probably my first ever unboxing because usually I go for book only options when it comes to book boxes. I'm not usually a big fan of the items that you get. So um, I've done Afterlight because I love romance books and I knew that the first book in Afterlight was a book that I was really really gonna love um, and I really wanted a special edition of it so um, I signed up anyway and I did reach out to them and ask if they were planning on doing a book only subscription for Afterlight and they're not um, so I've decided to just go ahead with it because if you didn't know Afterlight is a Luma Crate's um, romance subscription so I believe it's either quarterly or every couple of months it's not an every month subscription so for me that means I won't be getting too many items that I'll need to be getting rid of um, and hopefully as well because it's romance it should mean that the items are a little bit more generic rather than fandom based um, so that means they might be a little bit more applicable to my daily life <laughs> so this is the box I probably won't be showing you me actually opening the box I'll just have it like here next to me um, and yeah <laughs> I'll show you the items as they come out so we start off with the spoiler sheet, which is for Afterlight. Um, as you can see, it's the August 2021 um, Afterlight box. And I had a peek at it and it does immediately tell you what the book is. So um, if you're getting one in the future, uh, don't look at this if you want to keep it a surprise until you open the bag with the book in it. Um, but I won't tell you just yet what the book is in case you want to wait until I get to it. Okay, so the first item I can see is a box and it's quite heavy for a little box. So I'm guessing it's going to be something breakable maybe, um, maybe something metal or glass by the sounds of it. So let's open it up. Ooh, this might be something I actually like from the box. So we have got first a jug and if I can try and get it to get nice and close to the camera, I'll put my face or how do I get it to show? There we go, do the beauty blogger thing. It says shine bright and it's got a nice cute little design and yeah I, I really like this. Um, I guess <laughs> I kind of wish it had a lid because uh, I love these jar cups with lids because uh, my cat likes to drink my drinks so having lid cups is really helpful but I actually quite like this. It's a good sturdy glass cup and yeah it's got a cute little design so I'll definitely be keeping this one. Next is just a little little something wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's have a look. It says it says Bloom on it. I'm not really sure what it is. So that's an Afterlight exclusive. Oh, 10 milliliter nail and cuticle oil. This is actually really good. I do need some nail and cuticle oil. As you can see, I've had my nails done recently and um, I get them done every time I get my hair cut. And every time they always say to me that I should look after my nails better. So yes, I will actually use this. This is good. This is what I mean with, I was expecting Afterlight to be a little bit more generic um, and less fandom based. And that's really good for me because it means I get kind of useful items rather than like fandom art that I'm never gonna use. Um, so yeah, I'm happy so far. <laughs> Now the next one is annoying me already. It's a little pouch and I think we all know what this is because every bloody book box under the sun has done this. I'm guessing this is going to be a set of straws which I do not need because I've had so many of these from book boxes. It's straws. <laughs> okay so it's a couple of metal straws, they're reusable ones um, and they're in the shape of a heart if I can try and show you that. Can you, can you see? They're just in the shape of a heart. So you've got like a gold one and a purple one, two colours that I despise. Um, <laughs> like I have a real aversion to purple, although this, this is kind of like a pinky purple, but I'm guessing it's meant to be more purpley because Aluma Crate likes purple. Um, but yeah, I hate purple, I hate gold, and I don't like the heart shape, and I already have a million and one reusable shorts, straws from um, book boxes, so... I'm probably going to give these to one of my parents because... Um, oh, it does also come with... A cleaner um, but yeah I'll probably give these to one of my parents because they're always saying that they need them for when they're out and about um, but yeah at least it comes with a nice little case I do like it that they give you these little bags for them but yeah I, I, I need book boxes to stop doing this because like we have enough reusable straws everyone at this point has reusable straws <laughs> okay next we have a necklace which I don't know if I'd want to walk around with this on my neck it just says um, I read romance books and like, it's cute. I would you get it by this as a pin, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear this. Oh, it's not a necklace. It's a chain bookmark. Okay, that's better. How do you use a chain bookmark? 
I feel like that I'm gonna lose this real fast. Like this is gonna fall out. At least it's not a necklace though. I was really worried it was a necklace and I was like, oh, who wants to wear that around their neck? But no, so it's a chain bookmark. I might just take it out just to see. So I feel like I'm probably gonna keep this. I, I am a bit of a sucker for bookmarks. Um, let me, I can't get it out of this. <laughs> I'll work it out. So, so it, it's kind of, it's quite long. So I guess you could probably use it in a hardback or something. Um, it doesn't really, the only thing is it was not going to sit flat here because you have that, like, the join, if you can see that. So that's going to kind of worry me that it's going to, like, dent books or, like, not sit flat properly. But I'll definitely have to give it a go. Let me see if I've got a book nearby that I can try it with. Grab Bath Card by Marie Lou. So let's just pick a random page. So I'm guessing... Do you put that bit on the outside maybe? Is that how it works? And then you just have... Oh, that makes more sense. Having that on the outside. Big brain moment. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, like, does it then... Yeah, it really easily finds the page, which is good. It did nearly fall out just then though, so... Yeah, I've never seen a chain bookmark like this before. I've had ones where um, they're like a hook of metal with a chain hanging off them. Um, so yeah, that's quite cool actually. I've never seen that. Um, I do like the design. Let me hold it up for you just in case you didn't see it the first time. And then it's got the little like after like A. Um, it does have an A, right? Yeah. <laughs> it has a little after like A. So yeah, that, that's quite cute actually. Um, so that's all the items. Uh, the Afterlight boxes are smaller than the main Aluma Crate boxes because I think they're quarterly. So um, there's not as many items, which is good news for me. Uh, but so now we go straight into the book. I already knew what the book was. Um, so <laughs> I'm not going to be surprised by this. But we have The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, um, which is so exciting. And it comes with a little book plate, a sign book plate. Um, and that's really cool. I like that. That's a cool design. And guess what? There's actually space. It really annoys me when you get signed book, book plates for things and there's no space for the book plates. Um, I had that with my book box club books recently. Um, but th so it's got the normal cover, but then it's got these bright yellow sprayed edges um, to match the yellow on the cover, which I really like. Um, so that's really cool. Um, I like as well that it's a paperback because the rest of the uh, Kiss Quotient series, this is the final book in the Kiss Quotient series, but the rest of the Kiss Quotient series has only been available in paperback, so it would have kind of been annoying if they'd released this in a hardback edition for Afterlight, only to like not match the rest of the books. So yeah, I'm really excited. I also really like that they have started with a like very diverse romance. So Helen Huang is an Asian American author and then the main character I believe is autistic, one of the main characters. Um, so yeah, that, <laughs> that's really great. And Helen Huang herself is autistic. And um, I loved the Kiss Quotient, which is the first book in the series. Um, I'm yet to start the, the Bride Test, but I really want to read it soon. So this is really great and I'm so excited. Um, and the best part is, this is the third book in the series, which people might be wondering why Illumi Crate has chosen it for Afterlight. But all of the Kiss Quotient books can be read independently, so you don't really need to worry about reading the first books. So yeah, <laughs> I am so happy. Let's see, I think there's also just a little there's a little poster in here as well, if you want it, um, that, that goes that way and it's got the author letter on the back. Um, I might read this, but <laughs> generally I try to, <laughs> generally I just get rid of these. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put everything back in the box and then give you my thoughts. <laughs> Also, does anyone else find it really annoying when you get these Illumicrate pouches? Like, they need to have a return system for these because I have so many and I feel really bad just throwing them away, but I have run out of uses for them. Like, I started using them to pick up, like, my veggies at the supermarket without using, like, plastic bags and they were great for that, but now I have, like, 20 and I really don't need any more. Like, this is not sustainability. This is not sustainability, Illumicrate. Like, go back to wrapping in paper or something. Like, it's not good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that thing always annoys me. What I did like is the only bit of plastic in here were these two. So you got the plastic packaging from the necklace and then the bubble wrap for the cuticle oil. Um, I do think these are just completely unnecessary. Like you could just put it in a little cardboard wallet. I've had necklaces arrive from other book boxes in cardboard or paper wallets rather than these plastic ones. So 
that's a bugbear for me. I really wish they didn't do that. Um, the bubble wrap, there's definitely other options that aren't bubble wrap. So yeah, I, I feel like there's that these could be removed, but it's way better than they used to be for plastic. When I first subscribed to Alima Crate and Fairy Loot years ago, they used to be full of plastic wrap wrapping. So I am glad they've reduced it, but still some work to do there. So that is everything in the Afterlight box. It is the first one. So I'm guessing we're gonna see changes as time goes on, as they get more feedback and stuff like that. Um, I do think it was a great choice of a first book because the Kiss Quotient series is very accessible and like easy to read for people who are new to romance but it's unique enough for people who are like old hats for romance to still get into so I think that is a really really good choice. I really appreciated that the items were all kind of like generic and not fandom specific because it meant that it can be easy to rehome these things and it also means that I'm more likely to keep them. I do wish they'd stop with the repetitive things but like I feel like book boxes are gonna do that because people like these things um, but for me I do wish we could get some different things other than like metal straws again but I guess they probably won't do those again for a long time now so we can forgive them. My favourite thing is definitely the glass, I'm gonna be using that a lot. Uh, my least favourite thing is probably the straws just because I am inundated with metal straws from things like this. I think they did a really great job in terms of sustainability, lots of recyclable stuff in there. I, th I think in general it's a good box. I wouldn't say it's a great box yet, but I think that's because it's early days. Um, it definitely will improve over time. I did appreciate that it's smaller than the usual Illuma Crate boxes because you get so much stuff in those and I did like as well that they matched the book as a paperback to the rest of the series. Overall <laughs> I am actually quite happy with this. I probably will keep the subscription going and see what other books I get from them. I've really been falling in love with adult romance lately so I'm so excited that we've got a new adult romance subscription box. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep going with this for a little bit longer and see what other books I get from them. But I am really hoping that they do a book only subscription in the future because some of us just don't like all the extras. But at least this time the extras are actually pretty good. That's all my thoughts I think on the Afterlight box. Let me know in the comments if you received it and what you thought of the items. And if you didn't, still let me know what you think of the items in the books. Um, and that is it for this video. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like and consider subscribing to see more content from me. All of my social media links are down in the description below. If you want to leave me a comment to let me know you're here, leave me a heart emoji any color you like so thank you again for watching bye